Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my favourite hair products all from the drugstore. So first up is dry shampoo. Um, I use dry shampoo pretty much every day, even if I've got freshly washed hair, just for a bit of texture. Um, and obviously on days when I'm not going to wash my hair, I love it. Um, I find that blonde shows up grease really well, like I'm kind of paranoid about it. So I use dry shampoo constantly. It's awesome for traveling um, and I love it. So I've tried out a whole bunch of different brands. I thought I'd start off with the obvious, which is Batiste. Um, these guys have sent me a few free samples, so I really love them. This one I bought, um, I got it reduced because obviously I love thrifting. Um, so this is the Floral and Flirty Blush. I've lost the lid, I don't know, probably on an adventure somewhere. Batiste is so good. Um, it definitely takes away the grease the most, but it is also quite chalky. So it depends, if you don't mind having a bit of extra texture, it does leave a kind of residual chalk that you can feel on your hands. But looks wise, it looks really, really good. I think they're not as good on brunettes. Um, on blonde, it's a little bit white, but like that's fine with me, just makes my hair a little bit blonder. I know they do a brunette spray, but I can't comment on how good it is. So I think definitely good for blondes. I've also got the miniature one, which I use for traveling. Um, but people might already know this, if you take a spray on an aeroplane, it pretty much always breaks it. The like actual aerosol spray part doesn't work anymore. So lesson learned. Um, they also do a powder version, which, I did buy, but I never tried it. Um, so I'm gonna have to give that a try as well. It's just rather than a spray, it's like a kind of talcum powder, which, I mean, originally dry shampoo was talcum powder and that's like a Pinterest hack. So I guess it probably works well, but it's a bit more effort, like rubbing it in, I suppose. And I think that definitely would not work on brown hair. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have the travel size and the big version. I think they're awesome. They're a little bit on the expensive side. I mean, they're not expensive. I think this was normally 2.99 reduced to 194 but they're not ridiculously expensive but I really get through it so I find them kind of pricey I normally also buy the really big bottle but then I discovered these other dry shampoos which can really rival them in price so both of these are from Poundland I'm not even kidding you they're amazing this one into style I mean it looks really really bad but it's so good I'm not sure about the smell of it. It smells quite strongly. It's not bad. I just can't quite place it. So it kind of bothers me because I'm like, what do I smell of? And whenever you move your hair, it's in your face and you can smell it. And you're like, it's that dry shampoo again. So I think it smells a bit fruity, but I can't place it. So it annoys me, but it doesn't smell bad. So I wouldn't let that put you off. Um, but yeah, it's so good. Poundland almost always have it in. It's obviously a pound, which is insane. Um, and I think it's really good so I'd highly recommend trying out one of these I've got about 10 bottles in my room just in case Poundland stopped doing it but last time I was in looking for it I found this one which is um from Provoke Touch of Silver I use their silver shampoo sometimes um and they've come out with a dry shampoo for blonde white platinum hair so that's perfect because that's the hair that I have um I don't find it makes it very much more silver but a little bit um and it's got slightly more of a hairspray type feel to it than the Batiste, which is quite chalky. This one, this is the one I used today. Um, and it is a little bit hairspray, which I kind of prefer. You can't really feel it in your hair. And it actually gives a little bit of hold and a little bit of texture. So I think this one's really good. And I mean, Touch of Silver, legit brand from Poundland. So if you're near one, go have a look, see if they've got this. I think I saw it this week again. So hopefully they'll have it for you. And I'd highly recommend it if you've got bleached hair. Two more dry shampoos, and then I promise I'm done with the dry shampoo. Can you tell I'm a bit obsessed? This one I also got from Poundland. It's the Herbal Essences one. Um, dry shampoo uplifting volume in citrus fragrance. This might be my favourite dry shampoo I've ever tried. Um, but it's a little bit more expensive than the others, I think. It smells really nice. Um, it smells kind of shampoo-y. Um, and it's really, really effective. I really like it. I think it was probably better than Batiste. It doesn't have the chalky feel. Better than the silver, it doesn't have the hairspray feel. It just makes your hair not greasy <laughs> and it doesn't have too much like residue in it. I think it's really, really good. I've just got the miniature from Poundland, but I think I'll be buying the big version as well. And finally, the Colab, which I think is made by another YouTuber. Um, yeah, that's it, Ruth Crilly. She's really good. A model recommends this her channel. Um, 
and I got this in a Christmas um, like beauty box that someone gave me. So I haven't actually tried it yet, but it's supposed to be really, really good. It smells good. It smells really floral. Yeah, Paris floral fragrance. So definitely worth checking out this one as well. I'll um I'll pop on the screen once I've tried it whether I liked it. Next, this is um, possibly going to be the most expensive product in the video, but it's a hairspray by Ojons. Um, I used to work for Estee Lauder, so I got this in the like staff shop. It's really, really good. Um, it's flexible finishing hairspray with Wildcraft 2 New Extract, which I have no idea what that is, but this is really, really good um, hairspray. I didn't really think hairspray could vary very much. Um, I used to use the Lnet one, which I like. It's like 50 years old. It's kind of a classic, but this is really good. It smells really good. Can you sense a theme? It smells like, not coconutty, but kind of tropical jungle. I have no idea what that means, but I think it's really good. It has really good hold, but it just brushes out when you're done. Um, it doesn't make it like, crispy or you can't see the hairspray it's just really really amazing it's a huge bottle um i've used it a bunch and it doesn't seem to be running out whatsoever and i think it's amazing this i will definitely repurchase when it runs out which looks like about never because there's still tons left and then finally some kind of texturizing sprays i've got the bumble and bumble thickening hairspray this i got free with my copy of l so i haven't actually bought it I know it's going to be kind of expensive, so I don't know if I'll repurchase it. Um, you put it into wet hair after you've showered and it thickens it up. I definitely think it works though. Um, I do have quite thin hair and if I put it in my hair after I've washed it, it does come out quite a bit thicker, but it's also not as silky. So if you want to be able to like run your hands through it, this probably isn't for you. But if you just want more bounce at your roots, that kind of thing, this is going to be really, really good. And finally, my favourite, favourite hair product of all, which was recommended by Fleur de Force, is the Charles Worthington Salon at Home Volume and Bounce Texturising Spray. This is really good. <laughs> if you want that like messy, undone look, if you have quite fine hair like me and you want to give it a little bit of bounce, this is amazing. Um, you spray it into your roots. It does make it a bit rough. Like I said, you can't really run your hands through it. But for a texturizing spray, it's amazing. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but I mean, still not really compared to other things that you can get out there. And I think it's really, really effective. Um, I basically love it and it's pink. So all of my products today were spray products. So sorry, environment. Um, but I think hair products, pretty much have to be spray. I've talked about in other videos um, a really nice um, alternative to conditioner that I really like, a kind of leave-in conditioner, which is by Sunsilk, which I got in Thailand. So I'll link below to some videos to talk about that. So that's not a spray at least, but all the rest of these are aerosols. So if you guys know any non-aerosol hair brands that you think are really good, maybe you've tried out the Batiste Dry Shampoo Powder and you think it's good, please comment below because I would love to know about those. So that is it for my favourite hair products. I really hope some of that was useful to you. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these in the comments below. Of course, like and subscribe to keep up to date with all my videos. And thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at Beauty Dupes, the product which I found in the drugstore which totally rival their designer, expensive counterparts that cost about 10 times as much. So let me show you what I got.